Hey beauty addicts, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bold eyeliner tutorial and I'm so excited to be putting this video out for you guys because I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I know some of you have asked for this video so I wanted to share that with you guys. Now my technique for this video is a lot of layering and that's how we're going to make this eyeliner really bold. And if you want to make the eyeliner even more bold you can put um, some black um, eyeliner on the upper waterline, but I'm not focusing on that today. I'm just focusing on the top of the lid. Um, we're going to be going in with the e.l.f. cream gel eyeliner in black. And then to apply, we're going to be using the Sigma eyeliner in E11. And then to... Michael! Stop chewing on the box! Are you kidding? Get down! Hey! <sighs> then we're going to go in with a liquid eyeliner. We're going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner in black. And then the last step is just to add on some black eyeshadow. So I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow in Roulette. I love this eyeshadow. And then to place it, we're going to be using two different brushes. We're going to use a smaller brush to get on the inner corner of the eye in the wing. And that is the Wet n Wild Angled Eyeliner Brush. And then to get on the thicker parts, we're going to be going in with a Sigma brush, and that is the Sigma E17 Waterline Liner Brush. All right, if you guys want to learn how to get bold eyeliner like mine, then just keep on watching. The first step is to go in with a cream or gel eyeliner, and I'm using the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner in black. And we're also going to be using the Sigma Eyeliner E11 brush, which has a really little tiny tip and we're just going to spread that cream eyeliner on our eye. And this is kind of like what we're using to trace the rest of the eyeliners that we're gonna be using. Um, cream gel eyeliner can be really hard to work with, but at the same time, it's a little bit more forgiving than liquid eyeliner. So I like to use this first just to kind of trace out where I want my eyeliner to be, and um, it makes it easier to touch up. So I start with the outer part of my eye first, Whenever I first put on gel cream eyeliner onto a brush, I start on the outer part of my eye first and then work my way in, or I dip it lightly in a gel and then I can go onto the inner parts just because you want more of the product concentrated on the outside. Um, so that way, because it's a little bit more forgiving on the outside because you're going to go a little thicker on the outside than you are on the inside. So I'm just kind of starting with the outside and working my way in and also working on my wing which, like I said, it's sometimes easier to do wing with the cream eyeliner. It's a little bit more easy to fix if something goes wrong. And then later when we go into the liquid eyeliner, we can just trace on top of this. So it's a lot of, you know, dipping. I've had to dip like multiple times because I don't want to go in with too, too much on the brush and then have to get all messy, get all over my eye. So just kind of take your time, dip as much as you need to, um, and just take it slow, especially if you are a beginner with gel eyeliner. So as you can see, I'm slowly working my way from the outer part of my eye onto the inner part. And as you're doing it, you can actually pull uh, some of the product from the um, further away part and pull it towards the inner part because there still could be some gel left over there that's still able to be smoothed out, um, which makes life a little bit easier. You don't have to double dip as much, but I did have to double dip quite a bit just to make sure that I didn't go overboard. And then I also wanted to darken out the um, outer wing, so I put some more product on there. And you know, I'm just keeping up with tracing and trying to make the wing look as perfect as possible because this is the time to do it because this is the time where you are kind of setting up what's going to be traced. Um, so you know like when you get a tattoo done, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like they put the stencil on first and then they go in and do the, the ink. That's kind of like what we're doing here is we're putting on the base, making sure everything looks perfect before we go in with the, you know, the hardest part to get off like a tattoo, which is the liquid eyeliner. So now we're going to go in with the liquid eyeliner. And the liquid eyeliner that we we're going to be using is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner in black. So like we did before, we're going to start on the outer part of our eye and then work our way in. Especially with liquid eyeliner, when you first pull the brush out of the little bottle, there's a lot of product, so you don't want to go on the inner corner of your eye first because you don't want to add too much product there, get it messy, and then screw everything up. And then also, once you've done, put some on the outer part, then you can start focusing on the wing because you also don't want to start on the wing too soon um, and look I accidentally put a dot so I'm going to have to make my wing a little bit wider just so I can meet up with that dot because getting that dot out is going to be really hard because this is liquid eyeliner so mistakes do happen as you're doing liquid eyeliner and I must say doing liquid eyeliner or any eyeliner on ca camera is even is even harder and actually I think it's easier to do on a bus or in a car than to do um, on camera it's, it's really hard um, so as you're making mistakes and you're smoothing stuff out, sometimes your eyeliner does get bigger. 
So just kind of keep that in mind. You have to be more careful if you're trying to get a thinner liner. Um, so I'm just working on the outer part, working on the wing, and I focus more on the wing whenever I have less product, and I focus on the inner corner when I have less products to minimize mess as much as possible. And what's nice about putting on liquid eyeliner too is that not only, you know, are you putting this on to make the eyeliner last longer by having multiple layers, but it also is a lot darker with black eyeliner or with liquid eyeliner. I think liquid eyeliner makes your eyeliner look much darker than a gel would. Now I'm just going to touch up my wing, make sure there isn't too much product when you are doing this part, but also don't do too little because that makes it a, even harder to get that wing going. But I'm making it a little bit wider so that way I can smooth it out um, so it all connects well and looks like a nice line and it's not just like sloppy. So it does take time. Um, the more, more times that you do your liquid eyeliner, the easier that it will be. So practice does make perfect. So now I'm just filling it in so there aren't any gaps. Now we're going to go in with the ColourPop eyeshadow in Roulette. I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow. It's a black matte eyeshadow that does have a little bit of glitter. And we're going to be using this Wet n Wild angled brush to put on the, you know, a little bit more sparse, not sparse, but like thinner parts like your wing and the inner corner. So I'm just kind of putting it in that area because I'm going to use a little bit bigger of a brush to kind of get the rest of it, um, which is going to be the Waterliner water line liner E11 brush from Sigma Beauty. So we're going to put that on the thicker parts um, so from the chunkier part of the wing to right to about the inner part of the eye just to fill in nicely That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful Let me know down in the comments if there are any other videos that you guys would like to see in the future Now if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below Click that little bell so that you're notified when my videos have been posted Like this video if you did like it and I will see you all in my next video Bye Today's video is going to be a back to school makeup tutorial and it's also going to be an affordable makeup tutorial. So I do have two other back to school makeup tutorials. One was before I went cruelty free and vegan. One was when I was cruelty free, possibly also vegan with my makeup. Um, so I will link those down below for you guys. Those two are kind of similar. They're very, um, very natural, similar palettes, just two different palettes. I kind of 